This is a simple little idea that I hope you like if you indeed like the radio controlled mini tank that I made a few weeks ago then what I'm going to do is use some more of the parts that came from old lighters and probably with some of these cotton buds and see if I can build some kind of robot and the whole idea came from looking at uh, an LED that I pushed through the top part of a lighter and I thought hmm maybe I can put a bit of electronics in there or something I'll have to see how this goes Right, so now that the little guy is built, uh, what we have to do next is look at the power source and the circuit. What I'm going to make is a tiny little battery cell, there's my finger of course, and these are the silica little tubs. You're getting something like this. These are, what is it, omeprazole. Um, they're found inside, so I'm going to take the little beads out and use this little canister to make the battery. Now I've put a piece of magnesium and a piece of copper through the lid of it. Next along with the bottom of it I've glued the tiny circuit and here's the circuit diagram that I've used. Next will be to connect everything together and then attach to the back. And here it is all built. So I've got the sort of backpack arrangement now have the battery cell on the back and the circuit underneath. All I've got to do now is to fill it up. I've got a hole in the top there to put the water. So what I'm going to use is this syringe and uh, see if I can get this going. Not sure if it is filling up yet. Dripping out of his bottom. <laughs> oh, it turns out I'd overfilled him. There we are, you can see the flashing starting up. Well, it's been a lot of fun to build this, and I've just realised something. It's actually the little holes in these things to allow air to come in that cause the leak. But anyway, I'll remember that for another time. But there he is, and thanks very much for watching.